Hi everyone, today I'm going to be showing you how to create a really simple but effective animation from a SketchUp model to be included in your presentations. It's a really quick little thing that I love to include in my portfolio work. If I click play on this animation, you can see that it's just a very simple reveal showing off both the interior and an exterior of a set or a prop to make your presentations just a little more dynamic. So first thing we're gonna do is I'm gonna take you through the two elements you will need in SketchUp to create this animation. The first thing is to be familiar with the section plane tool, which if you go to tools at the very top, scroll down to section plane, you will see is this blue box. And in fact, if we move over our model, you can see that that box changes color and changes orientation. So you can get it to snap to pretty much anything. For this little animation, I'm gonna hit the up arrow on my keyboard and you can see that the section plane snaps so that it's pointing down. You can see all the little arrows on its corners pointing down there, which is exactly what we want. If you want to create an animation going from side to side or diagonally, then use your arrow keys to change the direction. The other thing you'll have to be used to is the, sorry, not used to, just familiar with, is the Scenes tab on the right here. If you don't have that open, go to Window, Default Tray, and click on Scenes if you're on PC. If you're on Mac, just go to Window and Scenes will appear in the immediate drop-down menu. That's all we need, it's as simple as that. So let's get started. I'm gonna create an animation where my ticket office here rises up from the ground. Well, it's, it's more like a reveal really. And I think it's a, a great little thing to include in presentations because it shows your geometry. And in one little animation, we can see both the interior and the exterior of our build. And it's just, it just looks generally impressive. Remember, at the same time, we can also move the camera so we can show a little bit of our model than a image does. First thing we're gonna do is go to Tools, Section Plane. I'm gonna hit the up arrow on my keyboard to keep it locked. And I'm just gonna click on my model. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Tools, Section Plane, and I'm going to hit the up arrow on my keyboard to lock my section plane in place. And I'm just going to click on my model anywhere. You can see it's clicked through here. I'm just going to get the Move tool, the four red arrows here, hover over my section plane until it goes blue, click, and then move my mouse up. Basically, so I've got still got my whole model, it's just got a section plane hanging over it. Next, I'm gonna to go to view on the top left. I'm gonna turn off section planes, otherwise you're gonna see this orange grid in the animation, and I don't want that. So this is really weird because we haven't done anything, but this is actually quite crucial. I'm gonna hit plus on the scenes tab on the right hand side to create a new scene. If you get a little box which pops up saying, do you want to create a new scene or save your current style or what have you, uh, just click create a new scene and you'll get this little icon here. Now I'm going to do the same thing. Go to Tools, Section Plane, hit the up arrow on my keyboard and click anywhere on my model. And we get the same thing appear. Our section planes cut through. Now I can either drag my section plane all the way to the bottom and do exactly as we just did. Or I can first move my camera to create just a slightly more dynamic animation. I do this any number of times as well. I'm just gonna do it once, uh, but we can add many, many camera movements if desired. So I'm gonna move that section plane until my model disappears. Go to view, turn off section planes, and then click Add in the Scenes tab. You see I've got my two little scene icons. If you're on Mac, it'll be in the center, and I can now switch between the two, and I have a little animation of my set appearing. 
and disappearing depending on which one I select. Don't be concerned about the animation being really jerky, uh, especially if you've got shadows turned on as I have. When you render the animation, it will be completely smooth. To do that, just go to File, Export, Animation, and Export a Video. Export an image set if you want to edit it in any way. So if I export the video, I'm going to call it Ticket Office Animation. Save it as an MP4. You've got a few different file types you can save it as. Click Export. May take a little bit of time. It is technically rendering an animation. And depending on how many camera movements and section planes you put in there, obviously that can increase the time. Okay, so now that's rendered out. I'm going to open up my files. Here's my animation. And there we go, nice and smooth. And it will also render back and forth. It will render between all your animations. So you can create a loop of this. If we go back again, you can see it also animates our lighting. So you get dynamic shadows as well. So there you have it. There's how to create a really simple but very effective animation of your digital model for your presentations.